Did it work? Did it scare you? I hope it did. If it didn't scare you, I would be very upset. Very, very upset. It is tiny. It is teeny tiny, and I don't seem to have a way to... It is literally tiny. Oh my god, is this really it? It's so tiny! Wait, hang on, I gotta change this. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Let's do this. That way, I also get the desktop if something goes and I can turn that off. Okay, behind the scenes stuff is done. Lixian, high five, we're in a concerted effort and a team. Bow! Yeah! This game also, did I say the name of this game? This game is called Discover My Body. In the year 2040, human beings look for increasingly strange solutions in hopes of finding connection and community. Ooh. Distrusting previous institutions that supposedly brought people together in common, lonely people look to technology and science for answers. One such new technology is a psychically powerful lab-synthesized fungi. You, a medical student at the local university, have been brought in to study its application to a host human. Oh, shit. Ah, you must be the new student Dr. Morrison was speaking of. I hear you re quite bright. Oh, I hear you're quite bright. Have you ever studied a phys- a psychical- physical? No, psychical transbolitution flowering before? I see. Well, you're in for quite a treat. I have assisted with many flowerings before. However, this is my first time in the hot seat. This facility is equipped with a neutron coronal scanner. You'll be able to view my transformation. Oh, and its various effects on my bodily systems. Just navigate the icon over my body and scan for info points to click on. My brain's broca area has been linked to a digital readout. So even when I am at the point where I am beyond human speech, I will be able to communicate. Well, please begin your examination. The hell? Oh. Oh, I don't want to see your body this close. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, I don't like it. Oh, I do not want to see your body this close. Oh, please tell me there isn't going to be a peen here. Oh, you're covering. Okay, thank goodness gracious you're covering your peeny peen. I was almost demonetized. Okay, good, great. Oh, what's with your Medusa head? That's a little strange scan. Oh, aha, you've discovered the injection site. Two weeks ago, Dr. Morrison took a bone-deep needle to my right shin. It hurts like hell. However, what he injected was worth its weight in gold. It was a skin graft of a successful PTB flowering. What's that? It kind of looks like a face? Well, the PTB organism is a psychically... is a psychical organism. Its physical manifestation draws from a shared pool of all its denizens, traumas, fears, dreams. I believe that's my mother's face on my shin. Totally normal. I get it. I get your pain and trauma. Your mom. Very strange. Oh, how I miss her. Not anymore! You got her on your leg! <laughs> it's a beautiful thing! But enough about me, please continue the examination. Oh, I'm an eager beaver for this! Let's inspect the junky wonky! Nope. Nope. How about the tum tum? How about the elbow? How about the other bow? How about the nippy knob? How about the other booby wooby? How about the necky wacky? You got you're real boring, man. Skeletal. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Aha, you've discovered my rotting bones. Ew. Yes, the rot is set in, certainly. It itches like the devil. But soft bones are required for the PTB to do its work. The human body was never intended to experience a flowering. No, I don't think so, no! In the process, one is contorted psychically and physically. Soft, rotting bones are pliable enough to assume a flowering shape. Again, though, very painful stuff. When I begin to scream, I expect you to keep your cool, though. 
Yeah, this should all be academic to you. Yeah. Are you getting any class credit for this, by the way? I see. Well, please continue. Yeah, no, uh, I'm not in college at the moment. I am far beyond that. I have ascended to another level beyond the educational system. One could say that I have flowered like a tree beyond out of my rotting bones. Whatever. How's the sterny wernum? Nice gully wally. Okay. Oh, what is that? Interesting. Aha! You've discovered the primordial inhibitor. Of course I have, you daft bastard. The primordial inhibitor. This is a device implanted in my brainstem, which helps to undo certain evolutionary f safeguards against operations like this. Yeah, your ancestors are calling you a dumbass from way beyond in the grave. It limits bodily and mental reactivity to meta-existential stimuli. In not too many words, the flowering is an evolutionary aberration. Definitely something we want to do. Talk to your mom about it. She says it's all good. Oh, thanks, leg mom. Great. One which requires some retooling of our formation of mental concepts. For instance, one who has flower does not experience the human idea of time. But if I tried to and apprehended this with my regular old monkey mind, my, you know, my big dumb he who brain, I would go quite insane. He who, I don't know. But anyway, please go on. On, discover, explore, look at my penis. Ah, according to the concentration of the PTP in my blood, I will begin the flowering process very soon. Quick, give me your wallet to bite down. <laughs> Now, this is a pretty roundabout way to steal my wallet for <laughs> And you know, if I was in this situation, I would just give it to you. I would, without question, and I'm gonna do that now. Holy shit. Wow, that hurt. Sorry, I seem to have bit down too hard and broken a couple teeth. Give me a moment to spit them out. What the fuck is this? Now then, as you can see by my face, I am midway through the flowering process. Hurrah! I can feel the inklink of a pan-psychic connection, and my body has experienced amazing and terrible growth. See for yourself. Oh. Okay. Righty-ho, how's your growth? Oh, good growth. Oh, good. Oh, wow. Why are you doing this? Ooh, is that your papa? Your father? Oh, no. Where'd mama go? Okay, good. <laughs> What is this sack? Blow. What's going on here? Blow. What's going on here? Blow. Aha! You've discovered that my hands have fallen off! <laughs> well, I suppose I'll never play the violin again. <laughs> Joking aside, this is pretty much to be expected. Part of the primordial inhibitor is to dissociate brain and hand connectedness. As a result of this, the hands fall off, as they are merely vestigial baggage, standing in the way of a superior evolution. I'm sorry, just briefly had a bit of ego death there for a moment. <laughs> I can feel my thoughts intertwine in the rhizomatic group mind. Please continue. Of course, I understand perfectly what you're talking about. Oh my goodness, something's wrong with your skeleton. Or something's very right. Aha, you've discovered my bone growth. <laughs> you're not gonna have a fancy name for that one? Just gonna leave it at bone growths? Yes, of course, your bone growth. As I was saying about the dramatic changes of BTB flowering in Gers, well, now at a bone deep level, my skeletal system is basically sponge cake. Ha ha ha, dig in, ha <laughs> ha, don't. Okay, but look closer. My bone fragments have begun to reassemble into a complicated, if fragile, latticework of wafer thin psychic receptors. Some of the bones are poking out of my skin? 
I knew that. I felt it. <laughs> Did you see it? Please go on. All right. Ooh, your brain seems to be shrinking. Your brain's a bit smaller, dinky brain. We got small brain over here. <laughs> A fucking he who brain, am I right, everybody? What a what a biologically uninhibited individual. Not like us who have our glorious psychoactively inhibited biological receptors. What a fucking peanut. Alright, anyway. Okay, alright. Found something. Aha! You've discovered my new minds! <laughs> to the extent that the brain is a mind, that is. We'll leave that to the philosophers. <laughs> As my own mind brain disintegrates into the group mind, what remains of my body become a small distribution of other flowering mind brains. As we speak, I am flooded with powerful memories that are not my own. <laughs> I feel, well, it's hard to even use the word I anymore. Even to distinguish ourselves from our timeless unity seems wrong. I feel infinite pleasure as well as infinite pain. Is this what death is? Aha! I see we are at the final stages. I complete the flowering. Infinite pleasure pain. Death! I'm so happy! I'm glad I got to watch that. I'm happy for you. I'll stick with my little tiny hoo-hoo brain. Guess I'll just keep biting down on my wallet and hope for change. <laughs> Isn't that right, Mom? <laughs> that was Discover My Body. That was awesome. Really, truly, that was awesome. Yames, you meant good shit. That was so imaginative and so cool. I want to see so much more of that. Just the way it deadpanned such a bizarre and horrifying transformation and just like owned every second of it. Whoa, loved it. Love it. Keep making shit. And uh, if there's anything else that you make in the future, I am going to play it because that was awesome. And if you guys at home want to experience the true horror and wonder that is discovering my body, there's a link in the description that'll take you to the game. Ooh, you found my like button. <laughs> what it does is it creates a hive mind of aggregate associative enjoyment out of this video. It collects all of our thoughts, so we're not just a dumb little he-who brain. Ooh, you've discovered my subscribe button. It allows us to telepathically communicate to know exactly when a new video is coming out. Oh! You found my bell! It's a psychic signal that pings lightning fast between all of our collective minds. So you know the instant one of my videos goes up on the YouTube. I can feel the PTB flowing through my body. I'm about to ascend to the next level. Give me your wallet. Ah!